Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C square. In this example we have an equation given and we need to prove that this equation is the equation of an ellipse. We need to find the vertices, the focuses and eccentricity. So um, first of all you notice this is a very interesting equation. The first thing I'm going to do I'm going to rearrange with x is of x so I'm going to have 9x squared minus 18x and then y is of y plus 4y squared plus 8y minus 23 equals 0. The next thing is uh, to factor out the um, coefficient, the number in front of x squared and y squared. So I'm going to factor out the 9 and here I'm going to have x squared minus 2x and for the y's, I'm going to factor out the 4, and I'm going to have y squared plus 2y minus 23 equals 0. And now we're going to do what is called complete the square. And I'm going to have x squared minus 2x. And now I'm going to complete the square here. And we have this minus 2. We divide by 2, that will be negative 1. Square it, that is going to give us positive 1. So I'm going to add a 1 and subtract a 1. That will allow me to have what is called a perfect square here. And we're going to do the same with the y's. So I'm going to have plus 4. Again, I'm going to open a bracket. And I'm going to have y squared plus 2y. And the same technique, I'm going to divide that 2 from 2y by 2, that is 1, and square it is going to give me positive 1. And again, this guy here is a perfect square, but I'm going to have to subtract the 1 because there was no 1 there. Close the parentheses, minus 23 equals 0. So if you notice, we have so far the same problem we start from we just did some algebraic steps and we're going to keep doing some algebraic steps here first of all we're going to do here the we're going to write the square we have which is x minus one square the same of the second uh, uh, set of brackets that will be y plus one square minus one minus 23 equals zero. Now we're going to go into the distributive property and we're going to have nine times the quantity x minus one square minus nine, be careful here, right? Plus four times the quantity y plus one square and the same thing, be careful here, minus four because we do distributive property, property minus 23 equals zero. Now we're going to combine the like terms which are negative 9, negative 4, and negative 23. So we're going to get 9 times the quantity, x minus 1 square, plus 4 times the quantity, y plus 1 square, negative 9, minus 4, minus 23, and this negative 36, equal 0. And down here you see the equation we need to get so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add 36 on both sides. And for getting that one you see it, we need to divide by 36. And that will allow us also to cancel this number in front of this parentheses. So dividing by 36, we're going to have x minus 1 squared. And 9 goes in 36 four times, so that's the reason I'm going to have here 4 plus y plus 1 square. And again, when you divide by by uh, 36, that, this, that 4 you see in front of the parentheses is going to go in 36 nine times. And this is going to be equals 1. This is the a very good equation. That's the one we're going to use for finding the things that we we are asked the vertices foci and eccentricity okay so copy that equation down so i can clear the screen because now we're going to go to the second part of this problem where we're going to find the 
vertices and we're going to find the faucets. So let me clear this screen now. And let me write one more time the equation x minus 1 square over 4 plus y plus 1 square over 9 equals 1. That was the equation. And now we can go to the next thing, the center of this ellipse will be, if you take a look here, H and K are the guys we're looking. So in our case, the center will be 1 and negative 1. Uh, then we're going to find A and B. A squared is 4, so A will be square root of 4, which is plus and minus 2. We're going to find b. b squared is 9, which is going to give us b equals plus and minus 3. Now we're going to find also c, but be careful, I'm not really going to use that form. I'm, for finding c, c squared, I'll do uh, 9 minus 4, always from the largest one subtract the smallest one, you get 5. So c will be plus or minus square root of 5. So we have these three guys. Um, which will allow us to find the vertices, foci, and eccentricity. Now, first of all, let's take a look to something. You see, this is the largest number. That means, if we look here, we make a, we, uh, that will be the uh, focal axis, x equals 1. Okay? In fact, I'm going to show you that picture right here so you understand better, because it's a nice picture. Right? This is the focal axis. This is the center. This is the center I mentioned here. And instead of using all this algebra, you can use a, a graphical approach. All right. Um, this A here tells you to move to left to right. This is the minor axis, right? Remember? This three here tells you to move three up, three down, and you have the other two vertices that are here. And also, you notice you can read them now. I would suggest you to use graph paper if you want to use this graphical way. Uh, what about the fossey? From the fossey, you're going to move square root of 5 down, square root of 5 up. Okay, so in fact, I'm going to write those coordinates because those are the hard, harder. So let's say this one is F1, the first focus, right? From that center, from that center uh, of... Uh, 1 and negative 1, I'm going to move square root of 5 up, so I'm going to have 1 and negative 1 plus square root of 5. If you're on an approximation, you can do it. For the second one, the one I move down, I'm going to have 1 and negative 1 minus square root of 5. These are the foci in case you need the coordinates. Like I said, the vertices, you can see them in the picture. What about eccentricity? Uh, eccentricity, you, it's... Uh, what we call C over, and now you need to look to the major axis, how long the major axis is. If you take a look, one, two, three, four, five, six, yes, uh, half of that, which is, uh, in our case, the B. So that is the eccentricity, C over B in this case, right? So we're going to have square root of 5 over B, which is uh, 3. This is the eccentricity of this ellipse. And that's all for this problem. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.